give you guys a feel for a uh, a planned socialist community. It's where we are here now, just outside of Krakow. And if you notice this, this architecture, this was all very deliberate. And this is a little community that used to house all the workers who worked in the Lenin steel plant here in Nawa Junta. Um, it used to be a dangerous part of the uh, city, but times have changed and now younger families have moved in here and they've pretty much made this like a hipster spot. So what you have is you've got Krakow, which has that royal history, castles, main square, lots of elegance, lots of decadence, lots of music, lots of art, lots of museums. And then you have this, this socialist utopia, should we call it, with specific architecture um, meant to, I guess, let the populace know that they are living within the I ideology of, of socialism. Um, and very few churches around here, um, not n nearly as many museums as in Krakow itself, and um, I haven't seen much art either. So it's in t an entirely different feel, even though it's just a 15, 20 minute uh, trolley ride from Krakow to here. It feels like, like a different planet. Um, you know, this feels like true Eastern Europe. Whereas if you're in Krakow, it has that kind of overwhelming Austrian, Hungarian and Germanic feel to it via the architecture and uh, some of the names of the streets and roads. I like it much better. It feels just more relaxed. The people feel much better here. And in Krakow, it feels just the opposite. It feels just very uptight and not very welcoming at all. 